So let's take a look at tools for students. So it's right here. Came across this app um, just recently, fantastic app. I'm just gonna press clothes. And you'll see here, I've got a range of different templates. Now, we're a Dimensions of Learning School at Flinders, so we use these um, sort of graphic organizers quite a lot for different things from um, KWLs to making predictions, um, problem solving, um, a whole a whole list of different things. And if we just take one of them, for example, um, let's have a look at the uh, fact opinion one. It's really, really easy to use. So you've got your topic or book up the top, um, name of the student. Um, basically, what we just do is we double tap up comes the keyboard to do the topic of the book. So we might be doing uh, facts and opinions on uh, war and peace. And then just press down, um, ready to go for another one. Um, we can go back to the templates. Uh, we've also got some storage facilities in this as well. So we might look at drawing conclusions for this one. And once again, we've got story clues, what I know, what the conclusion is. Um, we can just double tap, it makes it full size as well, which is fantastic. I'll just put a word in there. Um, and then when we press share there, we can do some different things. We can email, we can link to Dropbox, um, we can PDF it and so on. Um, if I get out of this for a second, go back to the templates, down the bottom left hand corner, you can see a little filing cabinet. That brings up the two documents that we've been using. So it saves them automatically, which is fantastic. So if I went into the um, fact and opinion one there, you can see that my war and peace has been saved and a really um, clever way of saving as we go along. Um, fantastic app, this one. I've been looking for some time that have uh, an app that has comprehensive graphic organizers for students to use. And I found this one is a really worthwhile one.